saw this thing on the internet a few years ago and I knew that I needed to try this thing out. Hands down, one of the coolest things I've ever experienced. This is essentially a Polaris Razor sitting on top of two jet skis. Now, it's not a Polaris Razor, and it's a full custom build, and it's full titanium, and we're gonna show you what this thing actually is and how well it really works. He's touching stuff here. It's on the screen here. And it's still picking it up. It's not touching any. Oh, no, actually, it's touching the right. Yeah. I like this one. I'm gonna hold that till. Yeah, I'm in now. <laughs> How do you pinch it? I'm gonna try it. Grab it. Right now. You have to look at it with your eyes. Okay, I'm looking at it. And then click. Yeah. You're not grabbing. <laughs> you're just, you're just, you're just, I'm on TikTok. That's wild. No, the it was way was. too clear. I gotta figure out how to select things before I get back into that world again. Okay, so look with your eyes and scroll. Yeah, I got it. Oh, he's gonna do one of those. All right, that's Matt. Wait. Dude, this is ridiculous. Oh, he fell down. <laughs> oh, it's a Ceratosaurus. Yeah, put your hand up. <laughs> About three hours ago, Eric said he was gonna try to go his life without looking in one of these. No, dude, it's coming out of the freaking screen. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> That's so freaking. You have a hoodie and pants on. Yeah, it's Florida. <laughs> the lower stuff. He <laughs> drives like a bat. Yes, right here. All right, episode one. Dave drives the first car he doesn't wreck. Nah, that's not true. What's he looking for? Day one, Florida. We're gonna take you guys to go see the typhoon. The typhoon! What is the typhoon? <laughs> it's actually really hard to explain. I'm just gonna show you. We got about an hour drive down to Fort Lauderdale area, and we're gonna be meeting up with our buddy at Shadow Six Racing. Go check out the typhoon. Let's go. Let it go! It is officially the worst time of day. I gotta stop it all and eat, which is why the sponsor of today's video is gonna make my life so much easier. I hate fast food. Just Meats, literally one of the greatest things I've ever found. Vacuum seal, throw this bad boy in the microwave. This is actually like gourmet food. The fact that they include sauce is like the greatest thing ever. Look how good this looks. This looks like fresh meat. This does not look like something that was, you know, prepackaged. Just Meats has a premium quality money back guarantee. If you don't like it, you're getting your money back. Just Meats also focuses on sourcing their meats from different ranches and farms throughout the Rocky Mountains. Really well seasoned, really high quality meat. Click the link in my description below. Use the promo code HEAVY15. They're gonna give you $15 off your order. You can stack that on top of other promos they have. Like right now they have 25% off your first order for new customers. So thank you Just Meats for sponsoring the video and thank you all of you for taking my advice and trying it out because I have a feeling you're gonna be thanking me. <laughs> gentlemen welcome to beautiful West Palm Beach Florida where we have come down to provide you guys with some incredible on the water content you see I'm a big fan of pretty much all things watercraft from small things to giant boats and today we are coming to test out a vehicle that I have wanted to try for a long long time you guys may have seen it it's a UTV like a Polaris Razor sitting on top of two jet skis and I thought it was like a gimmick. I didn't think it was really like a real thing because this is an idea that I had years ago, something that I wanted to build. Well, fast forward to today, we got a hold of a guy named Ryan at Shadow Six Racing, and he's actually building these machines for production to like sell. So you could buy one of these insane UTV, you know, watercraft. So today, <laughs> that's so awesome. We are gonna see what this thing's all about 
show you guys the ins and the outs, how it works, you know, what makes it so cool and why people are so obsessed with this thing. Later on this week, we purchased a boat, a DEA drug interceptor boat, like Homeland Security from the government auction. We're gonna go pick that up and show you guys, you know, how it works, take it out on the ocean. Then we're gonna be doing some awesome training with the Coast Guard. And then at the end of the week, we have another boat that we're gonna surprise you guys with and showcase something that a lot of you have never seen. Buckle up because this week, we are on the water and about to set sail. Uh, so I kept telling people I wanted to build a Baja truck for the ocean yeah. that was like Lamborghini quality. I don't literally mean a Baja truck on the ocean. I mean, I want the suspension to work, like where you yeah. see the tires bouncing up and down, follow like the appropriate arc to, yeah. to actually work. How about a razor on jet skis? So, I mean, welding tabs on to put some razor plastics or razor body panels was pretty easy. Oh, so it's not a razor chassis at all? No, nah, not at all. Completely custom okay. titanium fabrication. Okay. Had to be built from scratch. A razor obviously isn't the same balance. One of the things that's kind of unique about this vehicle is you're looking at around 320 pounds above the water line. The rest of the weight is below the water line. The motors are in the skis. Yeah, there's That's nothing up top. That's why you can't roll it. Two GP1800 motors, supercharged. These ones are a little bit tuned up. They've got titanium retainers, lifters, um, upgraded intercoolers, tuned motors, exhaust, impellers, intake grates. Pictures and videos don't do this thing justice at all. First thing I'm noticing is the build quality is like, it looks very much like a production vehicle, like literally kind of like he was saying, like a Lamborghini. The fit and finish is next level for sure. That's beautiful, man. Like this is not a backyard build by any means. I think everybody sees this thing and it looks so preposterous at first that they're like, oh, some redneck threw his razor on jet skis. And yes, kind of, but yeah. <laughs> they did it the right way. Like, dude, this is really clean. Like really, really well built. So walk me through what I'm looking at here. Yeah. So are both motors plumbed to one throttle? Uh, they are, yeah. And so they're, they're they... electronically synchronized. Okay, so it's synced. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everything's synchronized and it's all real time. Yeah. So if one's one rich or lean, everything evens out. Okay. Otherwise you're gonna pull incredibly hard to one side or the other. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that gets a little scary, especially sure. when you're hitting speeds, 90 miles an hour. Yeah. yeah. Fortunately, it will take care of that for you. Mm -hmm. So there's not really much room for error. Yeah. But you know, you've got your GPS system in there wet sounds audio system you know we have front and rear cameras that's really nice because you can crab walk yeah, into really sure. tight spaces yeah. when you're parking it's nice because you can see behind you how I mean, sensitive is it to weight uh not very sensitive at all yeah it'll yank the shit out of stuff i mean you're okay. talking a lot of horsepower and a lot of torque. so two big guys so two big guys yeah. no problem you're looking at 2050 pounds right here but at the same time we're running a little over 700 horsepower oh wow season. that power weight so, ratio is insane yeah. Yep. Okay. So in a vessel, it's 11 feet long. So it is a vessel. Yeah. You can drive it at night. Coast Guard isn't necessarily in love with the Baja Designs lighting because right. I'm sure you've seen yeah. the, the, the light that this thing puts out. But yep. Well, I'm ready to drive it. Absolutely. Let's We're ready do to it. do this? Yeah. Um, do, how wet Let's do you go. get? Not at all. Really? Yep. So it's just like I'm a... Yeah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> That's the beautiful part. Yeah. That's part of the design, so... You don't have to get wet. No. Dude, I can tell so. that it's really, really well yeah. built. Yeah. You Thank guys you. put some thought into this. A lot of people have seen this online. Yeah. You know, but they only see a 30 second clip or whatever, and then that moves on, they don't know anything about it. I wanna show people that this is actually a full custom hand-built vehicle. This is a bad idea that you executed really well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I didn't realize it was until I got into yeah, engineering. Yeah, exactly. You know? And then, uh, you know, enough engineers were like, no, it's not going to work. Then I'd come back with five answers and they'd be like, okay, yeah. we can't tell you you're wrong, but here's five more reasons it won't work. It is time to test drive the Shadow 6 Racing Typhoon. This is a vehicle I've had my eyes on for a long time. It's something that I actually wanted to try to build myself a few years ago, but I realized it's incredibly difficult and now I'm seeing why. So today we're going to show you exactly what black magic looks like. In fact, if you don't call this thing black magic, you should now. That's a perfect name for <laughs> it. You just name it? Yes, I did. Bro, Thank <laughs> you. 
how did it have so much traction? I've never, like, the, the cavitation is like almost zero. Watching it do that and your cabin just stay. Smooth as could be in there. That is hands down one of the coolest things I've ever experienced. Like, everybody said that it would be cooler in person, well they were right. Absolutely insane. It'll just wheelie all the way through the water and the suspension is exactly like you said, like driving the Baja, super, uh, Baja Desert truck. It's like, you don't feel the bumps. I'm having a blast. This is, <laughs> this is unbelievable. Cool. Yeah, your thoughts on it? The thoughts are Keaton's overweight and it's just gonna kind of be, that's my theory on it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we've all had a chance to kind of get in the Typhoon and figure it out, get comfortable with it, what we're going to do is a time trial. We're going to take Ryan, myself, Mr. Ham Wallet, Mr. Diesel Dave, and Mr. Hands, and we are essentially going to do a lap around the lake to figure out who can do it the very fastest. The trick is you have to stay within roughly 20 feet of the shore, and we're all going to be kind of judging from the moment you leave the start line right here to the moment you finish the dock is going to be the time. Before we do that, I want you guys to drop a comment below and guess who you think is going to win the race. Is it going to be the guy who drives these things? I was the world's best typhoon pilot, maybe up until today, but we'll find out. All right, <laughs> then we got some stiff competition. So drop a comment below and figure out who you think is going to have the fastest time around the lake. And who's going to wad it up into the end of the And, day. yep, exactly. Hands, hands will win. Hands will win. win. Guaranteed. Hands will win. He's cautious. light as a feather. We call him cautious hands for Light a as a feather. Here is the dock. This is the start and the finish line. Start right here. As soon as you pass the line, timer goes. We make a full lap around the lake. As soon as it comes, the tip of the skis come across the finish line, we stop the timer and that's your official time. All right, we got Ryan, the inventor, creator of the company here, and he's gonna kind of set the first time. Ready, go. Oh, uh, he's, I don't know, he's pretty far offshore. All right, so come back down the middle of the lake. Ryan's looking good. What's he doing? I don't think he understands the uh, concept. <laughs> See, this is where it goes left. He's <laughs> <laughs> not, not having to. Alright. Ryan got 39 seconds, but I also don't know what he was doing. Not, not having to. And now he's still going. It, it's supposed to be a full lap around the perimeter. Do a full lap around the perimeter. Try to stay like 20 feet off of each shore. Just take keep the same left hand turn all the way around. All right, now we got the race course figured out. This thing is incredible because uh, typically if you've ever ridden like a water ski or something like that, or a jet ski, when you hit the throttle, there's a thing called cavitation. That's essentially when the pump is trying to suck in as much water as it can, but it starts to pull air because it's moving too fast and the turbulence of the water. So uh, typically what that means is you just kind of sit there and peel out in the water. This thing doesn't, or here it comes, here it comes. Way better time, way better time. Ooh, there we go. That feels more like it, 33 seconds. His first run was 39, 33. Which one of you guys is up? We've got Ryan at 33.3 seconds. Yeah, did you guys, are you sure you want to let me go first? No. Did you want to try to race? The risk I'm to take. If he doesn't frog up the turn, then he's going to be at like 38, 39 seconds. When you say frog up, do you mean like go into the trees? <laughs> is that bonus points for t bringing a tree back with me or is that? It does not technically go on land. <laughs> Diesel Dave's going to either crush everybody's time or crush the machine and wad it up into the side bank. Yeah. That's my guess. I, I haven't seen him do much racing. I mean, normally it's just big vehicles that they're fast, but... He's got a 33.3 uh, three, 3 time to beat that was set by Ryan. Now, Ryan is obviously a guy who has a lot of time driving these things, so that's going to be a hard one to beat. But uh, if anybody can do it, it's not Diesel Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Come to the line. No running start from a dead stop or a coast. Ready? Go!
24 seconds, 25. Ooh, he's got to cut this turn fast. It's going to be tricky. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. 31, 32, 33. Ooh, that's a good time. 34.94. He's about a second and a half behind uh, Ryan, which is not bad. Now we've got uh, Mr. Muscle. He's going to be up. Now he has a disadvantage because he weighs 874 pounds. But you feel confident? I always feel confident. You got to beat 34.94 or don't come back. I think he thinks he won. Four seconds faster than Dave thought I was going to do, though. So. Ready? Go! the time I don't even know how to drive this thing everybody else has been able to drive it I haven't this is my first time in it not a ton of faith in myself I'm gonna act like I don't know what I'm doing I'm gonna go out there and kind of do a little bit of test driving first and then I'll do the race hands is up uh, Keaton just finished his turn he's got the fast time at the moment 32.84 however don't sleep on hands hands is an extremely talented driver when he's not scared to death which he's scared to death right now so he's gonna be he's gonna be a little yeah Kansas usually beats everybody at go-karts, which is hard for me to admit, but he does. Ready? Go! Yeah, I, I almost really, did it, did docking it, but did you, you see my go, my hand sign just now? I went to go do the racer, like go, and I went, go! <laughs> Here it comes. 20 seconds, 21. Here he comes, here he comes. Ooh, he's got a chance. 4.55, so he beat, he beat Dave by point by three tenths of a second. All right, it's my turn. Let's see what happens. Are you pretty confident you're gonna win or? Uh, I am not confident that I'm gonna win because because it's because I'm not that good of a driver. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's hard because when you try to hold the turn, as soon as you if you hold the throttle wide open in this thing, those those jet nozzles just kind of want to stay straight. So to turn, you really got to power through. But if you let off the throttle, then you don't have any steering. Don't go full throttle out for throttle out of the gate. Yeah, it easy. does this. It's Dave, and usually he cheats. So we'll see how well he cheats. <laughs> At the rolling start, if I ever saw one. Cut the corners pretty <laughs> short. It's okay, you know, it's his channel. We'll let him win. <laughs> Dude, it is glued to the freaking water. That is so, it is so securely planted to the water, I can't even describe it. I can't wrap my head around why the fact this thing is on rails so perfectly. But I got the fast time, so that's good. And that's our winner. In fifth place, we have Diesel Dave with 34.94. Next up, we have Hans in fourth place at 34.55. Then we've got Mr. Ryan, 33.3. I think he's sandbagging, kind of staying in the middle of the road. You've got the muscle at 32.84 in second place. And what did I get? 31.8. Whoa! 31.8. Dude, it is nuts. <laughs> I 
I think one of the most difficult parts with it was really designing the suspension setup. It was tough to create a way where you could have two fixed points in the hull and still have the full articulation of the suspension. And so that led to a second iteration of the vehicles. This is Gen 2 version of the Typhoon. And Gen 3 will be released later on this year. Better and better hull designs. But at the end of the day, you're looking at a triangle, which is the strongest shape in the world. The reason it's got a roll cage is it takes all of the force, typically impact the hull, and you know, at 90 miles an hour plus, could cause cracks in the center of the hull. Instead, you have all of that energy being transferred through the bow and stern, up through the cage, and being absorbed through the vehicle. You see pictures of it, you think it some hillbilly yeah. put a UTV on some wave sort of, runners. Yeah, yeah. It is true. sort of true, but it's a hillbilly that actually followed through and, That's and right. finished yeah, it. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. It has a really did a kick-ass job. Like. I wouldn't change a thing, which is why. Well, I'd make, a, I'd make the bigger version like you were doing. All right, gentlemen, well, thank you so much. Yeah. Good to see you again. Yeah. Glad Likewise. you guys liked Likewise. it. Likewise. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, my friends, video number one of boating content is done. We uh, just wrapped up with the Typhoon, and as you can see, that thing is an absolute unit, like one of the coolest machines ever. This is uh, more kind of relaxed, no like time constraints. So you're gonna see us in our element having fun. I'm in a Lamborghini in Florida, so I mean, couldn't be happier.